Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2024 Higher Level Leading Cert Maths Paper 1, Question 1. So this is our first question here. Solve the following equation for n is a natural number. So we have, let's see, we have n minus 3 is equal to the square root of 3n plus 1. So all we've got to do here is square both sides. So if we square the left hand side we'll get n squared minus 6n plus 9 square the right hand side 3n plus 1. Let's just bring everything over to one side so we have n squared minus 9n plus 8 equal to 0. Let's just factorize this so that gives us n times n. 8 and 1 is going to give us 9 so I'm going to put 8 and 1 here. We need a plus 8 so it's going to be minus times minus because we've got a minus here. That'll give us two values for n. n is going to be equal to 8 or 1. Now with these kind of questions you've got to check both answers. So let's do that here. So let's take n is equal to 8. So we put in 8 instead of n. So it's going to be 8 minus 3. Square root of 3 times 8 plus 1. 8 minus 3 is 5. Here we have the square root of 3 eighths or 24 plus 1, 25. So we have 5 equal to 5. That's fine. Let's have a look at n is equal to 1. So if we put 1 in on both sides, we get 1 minus 3 is equal to the square root of 3 times 1 plus 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And here we've got 3 1s, 3 plus 1 is 4. The square root of 4 is going to be 2. So this is not the case here. So we have to reject n is equal to 1. So my answer here is going to be n is equal to 8. And that's part 1 done, or part 8 done anyway. Let's have a look at part b. So in part b we have to write the following expression as a single fraction in terms of t. So we have 4 over 2t plus 1 minus 7 over 12t. So we just got to add these two, these two fractions. So our lowest common multiple is going to be 2t plus 1 times 12t. So let's see, what do we do to 12t plus 1 to turn it into this here? Well, we multiply by 12t. So we multiply the top by 12t. Write down the minus, what do we do to 12t to turn it into this? We multiply by 2t plus 1, so we multiply the top by 2t plus 1. Okay, so let's multiply this out. We've got on the top 4 12s, 48t, minus 2 7s, 14t, minus 7. And then on the bottom we have 12t, 2t plus 1. And finally we have 48 minus 14. That's 34 t minus 7, and that's over. That's going to be over 12 t times 2 t plus 1. Now, there isn't anything else we can do with that, so that is really it for this part of the question. So in part C, we've got to solve these simultaneous equations. So let's see, we have an x and a y, a y, a w, and an x and a w. So we're going to have to do some substitution here. So let's see, we have this x plus 2y is equal to 1, 4, 3. It's our first equation. Now what I'm going to do is maybe get x on its own, substitute it into the third equation. That'll give me an equation with x, or with y and w. And the second equation there, the middle equation, has y and w in it. I'll put those two together solve those for y and w. Okay, so let's do that. So we have x is equal to 1, 4, 3 minus 2y. Let's substitute that into equation 3. So we've got 4 times uh, 1, 4, 3 minus 2y plus 5w is equal to 4. Let's multiply all this out. So 4 times 143 is 5 7, 2, uh, minus 2, 4 is 8y, plus 5w is equal to 4. Leave uh, the letters on the left-hand side, so it's minus 8y plus 
5w is equal to minus 5, 6, 8. Okay, so this is uh, an equation with y and w in it. We also have an equation up here with y and w in it, so I'm going to put those two together. So let's do that. So we have y plus 3w. We have y plus 3w is equal to minus 74. What I'm going to do is multiply that by 8. So that will give me 8y plus 24w is equal to minus 592. Let's put that down here. So we have, let's see, 8y plus 24w is equal to minus 592. We put these two together, add them. So let's just cancel these and add 5w and 24w. That's 29w. And here we've got minus 568, and we've got minus 592. That'll give us minus 1160. And if you divide across by 29, you get w is equal to minus 40. Okay, so that's our first letter. Let's uh, work out another one now. So this is our first one. Let's put that into, we have another equation here, y plus 3w is equal to minus 74. So I'm going to put the minus 40 in here. So we've got y plus 3 times minus 40 is equal to minus 74. That'll give me y plus y minus actually 3 4 is 120 is equal to minus 74. And we just work out y then, bring the 120 over, we get y is equal to 46. That's our second value. Let's put that into another equation. We have another equation here, x plus 2y is equal to 1, 4, 3. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'll put the y in here to work out what x is. So that'll give me x plus 2 times 46 is equal to 1, 4, 3 x plus 246's is 92 is equal to 143 and then subtract 92 that'll give me x is equal to 51. So there are my three answers. We have x is equal, so these are my answers here. So we have x is equal to 51, we have y is equal to 46 and we have w is equal to minus 40. And that's it for question one.